Hi, so here we have a problem and this problem was given as a homework for a ninth grader and they were asked to solve it using congruencies. So here the problem statement is in a triangle ABC, AD is a angle bisector of BAC. So AD is an angle bisector of BAC that means this angle is A by 2 and this angle is also equal to A by 2, right? And AB is equal to DC that means this side AB is equal to this line segment DC and ABC that means this angle is 2 times angle ACB. If I assume this angle ACB as theta, this angle ABC is actually equal to 2 theta, right? And we have to prove that angle BAC is equal to 72 degrees. So how to solve it? So if you want to use congruencies, the angles have to be the same, the sides have to be the same, but here this angle is A by 2, this angle is A by 2, this is 2 theta and this is theta and these two sides are equal. So these given data actually don't fit into any of the congruencies. So I was wondering how to solve this problem. And then as always, isosceles triangles came as a great help to me. So whenever I get stuck in these kind of problems, I just try to convert the triangle into isosceles triangles. So what I'll do is I'll draw an angle bisector of angle B. So that will come somewhere like this. And then I'll join this point wherever this angle bisector of B meets AC to point D. And then let's see how to solve this. So since this is 2 theta, this angle will be equal to theta and the remaining angle over here, this will also be equal to theta. Now I have got a triangle EBC is an isosceles triangle because angle EBC is equal to angle ECB. So in triangle EBC, angle EBC is equal to angle ECB and both of them are equal to theta. So this triangle is an isosceles triangle that means EB is equal to EC. Let me mark them. We have got EB that is this line is equal to EC that is this line. Okay and now if I talk about triangle ABE and triangle EDC, this triangle and this triangle. Here we know AB is equal to DC. This is given to us and here we have derived that EB is equal to EC and we know angle ECD is equal to angle ABE. Both of them are equal to theta. That means triangle ABE is congruent to triangle EDC. That means their third side that is side AE from triangle ABE. This side is equal to ED, the third side of triangle EDC. Let me mark this is equal to this. That is what we have derived till now. Okay. And angle EDC will be equal to angle EAB and both of them will be equal to angle A. Right. So this angle will be equal to angle A. And now if I talk about triangle AED, this is an isosceles triangle where side AE is equal to side ED. That means the opposite angles, their opposite angles will also be equal. So angle EAD will be equal to angle EDA and both of them will be equal to A by because we know that angle EAD is equal to A by 2, right? So this much angle is also equal to A by 2. And now if I talk about our original triangle ABC, in this triangle, sum of all the interior angles will be equal to 180 degrees. That means this angle, angle A plus 2 theta, these are 2 theta plus theta, that is angle A plus 3 theta is equal to 180 degrees. So let me call this as equation number 1 and in triangle ADC, again sum of all the interior angles will be equal to 180. So angle CAD is equal to angle A by 2 and angle ADC is equal to A by 2 plus A that is 3 times angle A by 2 plus theta is equal to 180. So from here we have A by 2 plus 3 times A by 2 is actually equal to 4 times A by 2 that is 2 times A plus theta is equal to 180 degrees. Now this is equation number 2. So from here I can say theta is actually equal to 180 minus 2 times angle A. So if I substitute this value of theta into equation number 1, I'll get angle A plus 3 times 180 minus 2 times angle A is equal to 
180 degrees. So, angle A plus 180 multiplied by 3 is 540 minus 3 twos are 6 times angle A is equal to 180 or you can say 5 times angle A is equal to 540 minus 180 that is 360 or angle A is equal to 360 divided by 5 that is 5 7s are 35 and 5 2s are 10 so 72 degrees so yes we get the value of angle A as 72 degrees and yes of course we have solved this problem using congruencies so that's all for this video and if you have any interesting problem which you want to share with us you can send that problem to the number shown below and for many more interesting videos keep watching MathSmart bye bye till then